How dare you allow Las Vegas and Delaware to get away with things that you don't allow New Jersey to do? How dare you, federal government? Let's tell the federal government, no, you're wrong. You're wrong to discriminate against the state of New Jersey. You're wrong to discriminate against our workers. We'll take on the federal government. I think the main thing that sports betting does, it really brings a marketing opportunity. Uh, it's not so much that there'll be huge revenues that come into the state or huge revenues that even come into the casinos because if you have a Super Bowl and the Colts and the Saints and half the team, half people bet one team and half bet the other team, it's not that they make a lot of money. <clears throat> it's that people come, they want to bet the game, but they're there, they have dinner, they see a show, uh, they watch the game, but they also are staying overnight, they're spending money that they otherwise would not be spending. Super Bowl weekend is one of the busiest weekends uh, in Las Vegas, one of the slowest weekends in Atlantic City. Why is that? Because people can go there and bet the game and, and make a weekend out of it uh, here on the East Coast in New Jersey. They stay home to watch the Super Bowl because they can't bet it. The uh, situation in Atlantic City, with, we see the continuing decline in revenues. Um, we really need something that sends a positive signal that the state is aware of the problems and is willing to do things to support the turnaround that Atlantic City needs. And sports betting is a part of that. It's not going to be the total solution, but it could be a big part of the solution. Uh, what we're talking about is thousands of jobs and millions of dollars of revenues for our casinos, our racetracks, and the state of New Jersey if we were allowed to have sports betting. Today's hearing moves the ball forward so that we can uh, act in the Senate and in the Assembly to put on the ballot in November an authorization for sports betting to make it legal so that if the federal government changes the law, the ban, or if I win my lawsuit along with the, the Senate's lawsuit challenging that discriminatory ban, uh, we can get up and going immediately uh, to have legalized sports betting, attract more tourism, create jobs for the state of New Jersey. New Jersey needs jobs. Atlantic City and our racetracks are dying. New Jersey needs revenues. We need the tourism that sports betting would at attract. Tonight uh, in Las Vegas, uh, it's going to be packed when Butler plays Duke. Uh, there won't be anybody in Atlantic City. This town would be packed to the gills uh, if, if, if people could also place a bet. They'd come here, they'd go to our restaurants, uh, they'd, they'd rent rooms, be having a good time, just like everyone is in Las Vegas tonight, but unfortunately not here in Atlantic City. I want to change that. So important for Atlantic City, for the South Jersey region, and for the state of New Jersey. We are either going to move forward and really compete and be the East Coast gaming capital, and I'm not going to give up on that, or we're going to step backward, and we don't need to step backward. There's a great number of ways that we can move forward. One of the ones that we've been speaking about for years is legalizing sports book. You know, if Senator Lesniak wins this federal suit, or if we establish in New Jersey, and New Jersey wins a federal suit, regardless of how this happens, regardless of how it happens, if it does happen, we're certainly going to be able to make a huge difference to the local economy. You know, the real future for Atlantic City and for gaming isn't just in table games, isn't just in slot machines. It is in creating an experience and a destination resort. That's what this is about. It's just one more way to create that destination resort. So folks are going to want to come down here. It's, they're going to want to experience the dining, the entertainment, the retail. If the weather is nice, the boardwalk and the beaches. And of course, sports book is part of that. There are many folks who are interested in sports book that couldn't care less about blackjack. We need them here as well.